Well, good afternoon, everyone. And we're in the booth of IAC 2024 in Milan. And I'm here, very honored to be here with Leonardo Barilaro. Yes, sir. Who is a space pianist. Excellent. Now, you are the first space pianist that I ever meet. Tell me about it. I think the only one till now. <laughs> I'm uh, an aerospace engineer and a pianist. I'm Italian. I work and live uh, in Malta. And um, as an aerospace engineer, I work in uh, the field of space debris, structures, protection from uh, impacts. And as a pianist, I'm a composer, composer of space music. And uh, my ultimate target is to do the first uh, uh, concert on Mars. And I'm arriving there step by step. So it's just not a, as a dream. But I already managed to send uh, twice uh, the, my music to the International Space Station on board the two Maltese uh, missions, Malet 2 and Malet 3, with uh, Professor Joseph Borgio from the uh, University of Malta as a PI. And uh, now there will be a third mission, Astrobit, where uh, uh, that I will uh, direct, and where uh, there will be even more expanded uh, the aspect about the space uh, music as well. That, that's amazing. Now you have a book about this. Yes, uh, I collected uh, in a book uh, my journey till now, which is uh, music uh, from space, yeah. where there are uh, uh, basically the um, scores, the notes, yeah. plus uh, a summary of uh, my journey till now. And uh, I donated uh, this book uh, to different uh, uh, entities uh, like uh, uh, piano dealers, uh, music school, uh, key people. Uh, um, I donated uh, as an inspiration for a uh, uh, young uh, artist uh, and uh, uh, generally speaking, young people. Why? Because uh, also when I was a kid, uh, uh, many people were telling me, oh, you have to decide, or oh, you do this, or oh, you do that. But uh, since uh, I'm uh, lucky to have uh, uh, been given the name of Leonardo, uh -huh. I grew up uh, with the concept of uh, Renaissance man. So to uh, be able... Uh, to range between different arts. Yeah. And uh, for me, music uh, and science are not a dichotomy, but uh, something that uh, has a strong synergy. So why I do this? Uh, to inspire people, to show that the space can really unite us, and the International Space Station is a huge example of yeah. that. To uh, like uh, wake up people in uh, showing them that this new space here is not far from their daily life but it's something really concrete, really something that we are already briefing. And um, also to show that space uh, is uh, really the new frontier uh, to help to solve the huge problems that we have uh, on this planet, that for now is the only planet course, that we have. But it's amazing that you connect music, everybody loves music, yes. with space. And by yes. playing music in space, you inspire people, maybe who are not primarily interested in space, but interested in music, and, yes. and they start to ask questions. Yes. What is going on here? Is there a concept of a STEM, so STEM plus art. Yes. And I believe, uh, I saw in these two years of a project, the Music for Space, that the potential is huge. I played it also in different conferences, different events. And the feedback of people, is uh, first reaction, they are puzzled because they ask, why? Well, that, that was my reaction as well, of course. Why yeah. there is a pianist that uh, is an aerospace engineer presenting music that went to space? Yeah. But uh, this is also an excellent catalyst to conversation start with people to show what uh, is going on, to show uh, also how music and arts, this is uh, an artwork done by a friend and colleague of mine, um, how art can bring a closer uh, people to yeah. this. And for sure a kid uh, is uh, attracted more by an artwork, by music. So uh, my music is piano plus uh, electronic. So he's attracted by this uh, and uh, a kid dreams. I was a kid uh, reading Asimov. I was yeah. dreaming about space exploration. Now that I am uh, sort of an adult, <laughs> sort of. Do we ever grow up in the space industry? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, it, for me, it's uh, really an honor to be so privileged that uh, I'm actually doing my little part in uh, this uh, journey. So my little contribution make is uh, about space debris protection uh, for uh, uh, the journey regarding space exploration and uh, for humanity to venture in the expanse. Yeah, that, that's and, amazing. Leonardo, where can people find more information about this? So on uh, my socials, so the Space Pianist, very easy to find. Uh, Instagram, uh, YouTube, I have uh, tons of uh, uh, music. Uh, my website, uh, which is uh, Nullo Dies in a Nota, is from Latin, means not a day without a note, because uh, 
I believe that uh, discipline is an amazing, beautiful thing. So both in science and in art, uh, you do a 1% more every day and you keep being constant uh, to improve uh, yourself. Plus, there is a lot of music because I did uh, a Guinness, which is in 2022, I released one space music composition on Spotify for music, plus the video on YouTube for each single day of the year. Wow. So it's uh, 365 days of releases. Why I did this? Originally, it was not for the record, even though it became a record, but it was to have uh, uh, people to, uh, const uh, to have a constant flow of uh, possible sources of inspiration because you know you put something outside in the internet you can never know where and who sure. will uh, get uh, a small seed that uh, you can never know in the years can grow up and maybe you have a person that uh, starts a phd in aerospace engineering and uh, has a very full innovation so it's a uh, sort of my way to give back to the great mentors i got in the past that uh, probably they didn't know at the time but they were a huge inspiration for me so now I'm uh, trying to do the same. Amazing, amazing. Well, thank you very much for sharing your story, Leonardo. And uh, look, up, look up this guy online. This is, uh, this is pretty amazing. So thank you very much. Music in space, this space pianist. It was an honor to meet you, Leonardo. My, my pleasure. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you.